everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a fun Hey Chuck card for you. This is a adorable little chicken um, from a new bundle in the 2023-2024 Stampin' Up! annual catalog. This is the third set in a series Stampin' Up! has done with these funny little chickens. Um, and this time it's a dude chicken. His name is Chuck and he is hilarious. So I'm going to show you how to make this card. I'm going to show you how to color him and how to make this really cool background. All right, the first thing we're going to do is our stamping. And you're going to need your Stampin' Blends and your Memento Black ink. I'm going to stamp him in Memento Black on basic white. And we'll stamp his little skateboard as well. All right, now I have played around with this, these tail feathers with lots of different color combinations. And so I have lots of blends here. Um, I have several videos on this funny little guy. So if you're looking for other ideas, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, hop back over to my blog and check them out. Now I'm gonna start at the ends with yellow, Daffodil Delight. And then I'm gonna take um, light, pumpkin pie and I'm going to blend that down all the way to the end all right and then I'm going to take light Cajun craze which is this one right here and we're going to go a little bit further kind of flick you want to flick the color so that it kind of blends and then last but not least we'll do some cherry cobbler that makes for a fun tail doesn't it while we have our cherry cobbler out let's do his his head feathers if you will i did those all red he kind of looks crazy and angry so <laughs> we'll do all cherry cobbler there and then we'll do the skateboard and cherry cobbler as well like that um, let's go back to our Daffodil Delight and color in his beak. Now, when the lines get really thin like this, you want to just take your marker and tap, 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 tap that color in. Just kind of tap it in when the image is thinner than the tip of your marker. Um, I'm going to come back with that light Cajun craze. Light Cajun Craze is like an orangey brown. And we'll do his neck and his, what is that, his eyelid. And I missed his waddle, so get your cherry cobbler. It's just very small right in there, like that. And then I'm gonna take my crumb cake and just kind of add in some shadowing here like this around the edges. And then last but not least, I'm gonna take my color lifter and just kind of blend that crumb cake towards the middle. Um, for the wheels, we'll just do Smoky Slate. He is so fun. All right, now bring over your cut and emboss machine. And thankfully, Stampin' Up! gave us coordinating uh, dies for this. And we're gonna run these through. If you are worried about your dyes slipping after all that coloring, you can grab some post-it tape, which looks like this. I always have this linked on my blog because it is so great. It's about $4 a roll. I get it from Amazon and it is fabulous. It will not tear your paper. It's like the stickiness of a post-it note. And I reuse it several times before I throw it away. All right, there's our skateboard and our little chuck. All right, now you're gonna also wanna cut out a Daffodil Delight Sun. This is in the same dies, the, the Hey Chuck dies a stylish shape basic white banner. And then we're gonna do this funky exposed brick background. You're gonna need a piece of basic white that is four by five and a fourth. See how that looks? What I have done is taken my exposed brick 
embossing folder. And I'm gonna put the color on the side that has the Stampin' Up! logo. This will wash right off of your um, embossing folder, so don't worry about staining it. I'm taking Pebbled Path, which is one of our new in colors, and I'm just gonna set my paper right down on there. Let's see if I can get a little bit straighter. And then set it down on your base plate and put plate number four on top and run it through and let's see what we got. There we go, very cool. Now, this ink is still wet on here, so be very careful. Um, take it to your sink and just rinse it off and let it dry and it will be totally fine. The only problem is you gotta watch your fingers so that you don't get it on your fingers and then get it on your card because that's no fun. All right, let's make some room here. We're gonna put this fun card together. I have a pebbled path card base and we're gonna take this piece right here and we're gonna adhere it to the card base. You can do this to any of your embossing folders. It really is fun, makes a really unique look for your background. We have this new white core paper. It's kind of a thin cardstock. And I'm just gonna take my finger and carefully tear the edge. And you can see it's got a white center, so it leaves that exposed edge for you. Gives your paper a little more texture. It does have a slight texture to it also, the cardstock does. All right, now here's a strip of Night of Navy designer series paper from our Neutrals paper stack. It matches that paper perfectly. Stampin' Up! colors always match perfectly. That's one of the greatest things about Stampin' Up! is that if you get Night of Navy paper, Night of Navy cardstock, they're going to coordinate and it's gonna coordinate with the ink and the ribbon and the markers. It's wonderful. All right, put a Stampin' Dimensional under Chuck and we're gonna put him right there on a two and a fourth inch vellum circle. Now for the skateboard, you're gonna need a very small mini Stampin' Blend or a baby Stampin' Blend as I like to call them. Put that right under him. Now get your regular dimensionals again and you can put these underneath Chuck so that they're not gonna show like this, and we'll even put a little one down here to hold it in place. Okay, and then we're gonna put him right there. Doesn't he look like he's squawking? All right, let's stamp our sentiment on a on our stylus shape. Now, you know, guys, it's probably better to stamp this and then cut it out with the die. But I did it ahead of time. This is Misty Moonlight. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut off just the edge. Let's see, I'll just use my scissors. I don't have my trimmer. I'm gonna cut it straight like that. And we're gonna take our, let's do the dimensionals on the back of this, like this. Okay. Put this across here, matching that edge, and then get your Daffodil Delight Sun. And put that right there. Now, for the inside, if you want to dress it up, you can take that skateboard and just kind of stamp that down there for fun. Get your Stampin' Blends. Color it in. Maybe, um, let's color in Smoky Slate. I think maybe I'll flick some color on there with my Smoky Slate blend like that. And then just put kind of a shadow line underneath. A really simple way to dress up the inside of your card. Basic white. And we're gonna put that right there. 
And there you go. And that sentiment is fun. It could be any kind of celebration. Um, you've got something to crow about. It can be congratulations, new baby, new job, any kind of fun celebration. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. I've got two other Hey Chuck projects for, Hey Chuck, not Hey Chick, Hey Chuck projects for you, as well as that free PDF. Let me know if you have questions. Have fun stamping. Bye, guys.